How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. I'm doing a, another collab here with the beautiful Amy Miranda and also the beautiful Marlene Fabinglam over 50. We are doing a full look under $30. So if you guys would like to see what products I use and how I get a look for under $30, keep on watching. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have the links down below for Amy Miranda and also Marlene Fab and Glam Over 50. It will be the links to their videos. Please go check them out and uh, maybe subscribe, show them some love. So go and see what products they use or what they come up with for a look for under $30. I think that's pretty good because you're getting a look from each of us and maybe can get some ideas. Um, Again, I think this is targeted into maybe you're maybe you're on a budget. You don't want to go past a certain limit. Now for me, I went most of the stuff I checked was on Walmart. I kind of did pricing on Walmart because that is kind of where I shop at. So I went online and typed in the items that I picked and then added up my total. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the products that I'll be using. So I'm using the coverall from Wet n Wild Foundation. So the coverall foundation is $4.47. The next item I had picked was the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. It was $3.03. .03. Mind you, I got these from uh, Walmart pricing online. Next thing I picked was one of the Wet n Wild blushes. This one's in Rose Champagne. They're $2.99. One of Wet n Wild's Single eyeshadow, uh, color icon eyeshadows. These are $1.99, mine's in Cheeky. I picked the Scandalize from Rimmel, one of their eyeliners. It's the black one I like to use a lot. This is $4.99. I picked this highlighter here. It's a geometric highlighting powder. It was one, one of their ones from their limited edition. This is $2.93. I picked the Maybelline Falsies Mascara, Volume Express Falsies Mascara. This is $5.35. And lastly, I picked this lip pencil from NYC. It is one of their um, intense lip colors. These are $2.77. So, which brings me to a grand total of $28.52. I'm gonna do my eyes first. I'm gonna use the uh, light shade on this side here to kind of help put a little more of a base on my eyelid area. and work. It does help for eye base and um, making the eyelids a little more smoother. I'm going to use the other side right here, the bronzer part itself, and kind of work a little bit in my crease. Just say I noticed the new formula is a little more powdery. I do this a lot. I have learned this from several different beauties on here where you can take the bronzer as long as it's a matte bronzer and use it right in your crease to help de give your look, I look some definition or you know you can use it as transition color, um, any, any of that kind of stuff. And I've learned that because it, it does, I mean you could actually just use this and have a just a natural kind of eye look that like the bronzer will just make your eyes look a little more open we're going to take the single color icon in cheeky and we're going to put that on the lid Blend that out a little bit. Brush through my eyebrows. This little highlight palette here and 
just along below the eyebrow area, just a little bit. Maybe give something there. This highlight's not an intense highlight. So I'm going to take my black eyeliner, the one from Rimmel, and we're going to go ahead and just draw along here. I'm just going to get real close to the eyelashes. I'm going to do no kind of wing thing. And I'm going to do tight line it. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in the waterline and just halfway, not the whole way, but halfway, just right to the middle part of the pupil just so it's not too closed in of a look. I'm gonna use my Falsies Maybelline Mascara. Okay, so I pretty much got my eye look done. So I didn't do nothing major, major, but that's what I got my eye. So far done. So we're going to go ahead and use the coverall foundation and I'm going to use this little beauty blending sponge thing. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. To conceal under there because obviously don't have a concealer. My contouring palette again must set a little bit under my eyes since I did use some of the foundation up and through there. I'm going to use the highlight part. Okay, I'm going to take the contouring part now and go ahead and do that part on my cheeks. You know what? That kicks way, way too much. small stippling brush. I'm going to use the highlight now. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Rose Champagne. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Rose Champagne blush. I'm going to go ahead and take my lip product. I hope it works because it feels kind of, I have problems with the NYX products that are like this. Just going to. Okay guys, so there's my look. There's my finished look. Um, yeah, Wet n Wild is like one of them brands that obviously are pretty good to go for when you're on a budget and everything. You're on a trip somewhere and you don't want to spend a fortune but you forgot your makeup and you can run out and buy some of these things at Walmart maybe. Anyway beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate that very much. Don't forget to check Amy Miranda and Marlene Fab and Glam for 50. Like I said, I will have their links down below so you can go and check them out. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that so much. Help me out. 
and uh, yeah, put a big smile on my face. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. You can join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. Bye. Mwah. Love you.